Here comes another stupid intro from me. Right about there, does that look good? Yeah, that's good. That's it. That's your intro. No music, no hype, no graphics, no nonsense. A box. That's all you're getting. Old school, nothing fancy knife review. The good news is the Blade Show right now is in full swing here in the Nut and Fancy Project. I am cranking out the KRVs for you guys, working hard for my subscribers, as you've seen. Like I said, if you guys watch them lots, I'll make them lots. But if you don't, like you've seen before, I will make the Blade Show go dormant for a while, several, perhaps many months here in TMP. Go on to other adventures, projects, reviews, I cut so many enough of that that's your intro hope you liked it here we go with the topic of the review you already know what it is i'm going to say this is a favorite spider co knife a new favorite a hall of famer best of here in tmp this is a nothing fancy old school tabletop review on you guessed it spider co cat g10 model c129 gp love this knife I think I've put more hours on this knife than any other in the last year, by the way. There you go. Seriously. I love the knife as soon as I got it. Started using it. Uh, why did you wait so long for the review then? Nothing. I don't know. It's not one of those examples of where I'm not stoked on the blade and then I have to like force myself to do the review. I really meant to do it a while back. Welcome to, I don't know, the world of TMP. Love the knife. It's awesome. I'm kind of crowded here with the tripod. Let me see if I can get a good deployment. Yeah, it's okay. Country of origin on this spider coat is, guess, any guesses? You guys who already own one know. That's right, Taiwan. Taiwanese produced spider coat. High quality though, high quality knife. Great fit and finish on this as we will see and that launches us right into philosophy of use. Like we always do. Well, not always, sometimes we do it. EDC. In fact, let me refine that. It's more than just an EDC knife. It is a perfect suit knife. Yeah, a knife that you could wear in your suit pants. It's a gentleman's everyday carry knife. It disappears in carry. It's extremely lightweight. I think really that's its real calling. EDC knife. Uh, high value collectible. Yeah. Gift knife. Yeah. Stuff I've said a thousand times. The reason, one of the reasons I'm really stoked on this blade though, is the weight. And fancy, you always love the lightweight knives. You're right, I do. Love them. They excite me to unnatural levels. You know that. 2.4 ounces, guys, is what the cat weighs. Well done, Spyderco. 2.4 ounces. It weighs, well, I wouldn't say nothing. I mean, it has weight. What weighs nothing is that Cold Steel Micro Recon 1. One ounce, that weighs nothing. You're not going to forget you have this knife, but it is very easy to integrate into just about all your systems. The feel is excellent. The balance is excellent. The steel is 440C on this leaf-shaped blade that we see lots from Spyderco. Hey, nothing fancy. We think you're kind of, you know, lukewarm to 440C. Uh, I will admit that in the past I have been. I'm not super stoked on it as a first choice of blade steel. I'm talking 440C. But when it's done right, as Spider Code does this right, uh, I like it. It's decent. Um, it holds an edge well. It has reasonable rust resistance. Uh, I think Spider Code's chromium level is like 17.5%. Has a higher carbon content than that crap 440A. So it holds an edge reasonably well. In the last year, I did have to resharpen this. In light cutting use, I'm talking some cardboard, usually a lot of food preparation, that kind of stuff. I sharpened it about four times. Yeah, on the Edge Pro Apex. And you can see it's where just about smacked the camera. There in my uh, edge right there. I think I brought it back like a degree. I'm talking the edge. This one, I think think was just touched up uh, a couple weeks ago to about a thousand grit. 440C is decent, relatively fine edged, okay 
edge holding. You know, would I prefer VG10 over this? Mm, probably, uh, but the again the way Spyderco does it, or whoever's doing their steel for Spyderco, it's decent. I love the blade shape. We've talked about it so many hours here on camera and TMP. I just love leaf blades. I mean, I've been showing in this batch of KRVs I've been doing. My EDC knife is this one. Also a leaf bladed dragonfly. Very useful, good belly, not this knife, both of them actually. And a real precise tip for surgical work should you need it. Love that. So that's your blade shape. Uh, 62, for my European friends, 62 millimeters long. 2.5 millimeter in its thickest portion. I'm talking the blade steel. There you go, 13 millimeter deployment hole. And the speed, I don't know if I'm going to demo it well because I'm so crowded with a camera, is excellent. Flawless, actually, as is the lockup of the cat. It's really nice. Look at the stop pin. Big old stop pin right there. Excellent. There's your liner lock. You can see the engagement on it. Good lockup and strength. Handle construction. First, the downsides. It does have squared shoulders. I would like them to round the scales more in future versions for what it's worth. So, yeah, I, it, it's kind of a squared off design. Maybe in competitive options, I'll show you some that aren't. The blade centering, though, in the handle is pretty much perfect for this high value Spider Co. Pretty much. And the blade retention, excellent. Just perfect. And then check this out. One reason why it's so light, milled liners. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting excited again. Love that. Great job, Spider Co. Medium traction G10. It is probably Chinese in origin, so you're not going to get the superb quality G10. It just doesn't happen that way these days. It's medium traction. I'd really like to see it in colors. Blue, orange, red, some sprint runs of the cat. That's what I like. Ah, crap. Now I've said it. They're going to do it, and I probably won't even get one. It would be cool, though, and add second kind of cool to this blade. Ergonomics are going to take a little bit of hit because there is no drum roll jimping. Wait a minute, nothing fancy. There's jimping all over that blade. Yeah, because I did it. Yeah, that's homemade jimping. I, I'm surprised I got that one actually right. Look at that, man. That almost looks factory. Did that with a Dremel grinding wheel. Did some on the bottom choil too. Nice. Hey, with that jimping, I'll tell you, it locks. Locks. I'm just using a really thin grinding wheel on the Dremel. Really carefully just edging it in. Real easy to do. I've said that lots in my reviews. You can do, put your own jimping on. Better though that it comes from the factory. And it really needs it. Because that really natural thumb ramp of the leaf blade. With jimping, or I should say without jimping, it's slick. You're all over the place. So it does not lock in the hand. Could put skateboard tape on there, but oftentimes on such thin metal, it's hard for it to stay on. I would just gimp it. Yeah. Other than that, ergos, once it's gimped, it's good. Perfect pocket clip. Yep, it's a wire loop over clip, hardened wire, and I just love it. It carries so deep. Again, getting to the suit. Uh, Philosophy of use, you know, slacks, buries so deep, people don't even know you have this knife on you. Carries deep. Durability will be excellent, as far as I know, from all these spider codes. And now we go on to a few competitive options. Do you guys like competitive options? I don't know sometimes, because it will add length to the video. I could end the video right now. But I want to give you competitive options on this one. Because I love this knife, the cat. And it's very interesting to me to do it. I won't always do it though. CRKT Ripple, come on down. This is the aluminum version. Catalog number K415KXP, 2.4 ounces, 8 CR, 14 MOV. This is a HOF blade. Great knife. Great knife. And it's lighter than the cat. Bigger blade than the cat. Let's see how the thickness is. Thinner than the cat yeah so great job crkt we talked to those guys at shot 2013 they rock great dudes great knife how about this one 
the SOG Blink. Oh, that's a best of. That's model number BBA-99. That is a satin finished Blink. I really love the black one, but I don't know where mine is. 2.2 ounces, OS-8 steel, which I would actually prefer over 440C. Usually, I would. 38 bucks for that. And by the way, I forgot to mention the price on this. I think it's like 25 and this one, if you use my recommended retailers right there at the top of the screen, about $42. That's a good deal on the cap, by the way. So this is going to be the same price, pretty much 40 ish for the Blink. I just love the Blink. Look how thin that is. This also is, like I said in the review of the Blink, a great suit knife. Lock black version, as you can see. Love the Blink. Man, is it fast. It's like a little auto blade sucking demo on that though let's see what else i got competitive options hey one from the family stall delica four. Oh, do i love this knife flat ground when i talked to sal glesser a couple years back and he said hey we got these ffgs delicas and enduras coming out i was like oh i'm so stoked that's exactly one i wanted to see not that i hate the other saber ground uh enduras i have them like them but i like the ffg ones and apparently you guys do too because they're still around still being produced for several years they weren't sure if they're going to continue them according to what the guys there at spider coast told me so they're still around let's compare it against the cat though and this is what i'm going to show you this is a rounded handle granted it's a side tell it's not g10 but you can see there's no sharpness there with the delica four thickness comparison delica four is an all-time great carry blade in pretty much every philosophy of use so i'll tell you what i just love it choosing between the two if i really really was pressed i would probably choose a delica four just saying i mean it's thin it's fast has the same utility of blade this one's in vg10 and it does come with gimping yeah 2.2 ounces around 50 dollars. that's a delica four in brown that particular one just excellent and then last definitely not least how about the SOG Aegis Mini? Two ounces. Again, the Cryode OS 8, $45 for this sucker. Great gimping. It's really gimping. I just say that and mess around with you. Dual thumb studs. It's got that very aggressive drop point. Very delicate tip. Be careful. Ultra deep carry. Perfect pocket clip. Super lightweight. Thickness comparison. A little bit thicker than the Cat. Great blade though, HOF all the way. It's just phenomenal. All these knives on the table right here are phenomenal. Just absolutely perfect. You should own at least one of every blade I'm showing you right now. You should enjoy the sickness of knife use and collecting. Come back to TMP often. Join me for these ridiculous and stupid KRVs. Thanks for watching. See ya.